we all love hover effects. I've got tons of hover effect videos already on my YouTube channel, but this one is gonna be for images. So I'm gonna show you one particular image hover effect whereby when you hover, the image slightly moves up and when you hover off or de-hover or whatever it may be, and the image sets back to normal. And I really, really like this because it looks super, super slick and I use it on, well, I've probably used it on at least 50 client sites. And it's good for, let's say, property sites where you want to do featured properties, maybe a row of three, and you hover and one comes up and it makes the user want to click it more. I also have a art gallery client where we've got some featured artists. So you'd have, again, a row of three, you hover, it goes up a little bit. And it just adds that little bit of interactivity to a site that my clients love and that their users love. And any little bit of that magic that you can give to a client or that you can put on your own website really helps you stand out from the crowd. So I'm going to show you a little snippet that's going to help you on the way. What you're looking at here is a client website of mine. And these guys are a gallery out in the US. But that's no one cares about that. So this is what I'm talking about. And this is the image effect. So essentially, you can see when we hover, it goes up a little bit and then it sinks back down when when we unhover it or when we're not hovering over it. And this is just a nice way to try and engage visitors and make the site feel a little bit more high end. So these guys stock the likes of um, Basquiat, Picasso, Salvador Dali, like a lot of big names. So what I'm trying to do with the site or what I'm still trying to do with the site because it's not finished yet, as you can tell by artist, artist, artist. What I'm trying to do is elevate it to a level where it's got some nice bells and whistles, some nice design features that lend themselves to a company that is essentially all about design and art. So these are the kind of things if you're a designer that you need to think about. Or if you're designing your own website that obviously you have to think about as well. So you can see it's just a, a nice little effect. And to get this, I'm going to show you the code now. And here it is. So what we're doing is we're targeting Squarespace block image. And then we're saying the transition is going to be 0 0.3 seconds. If you've watched me for a while now, you'll know that I always use 0 0.3 seconds because I just think it's not too long and it's not too short. It's quite a Goldilocks amount of time. So you can see already we've got it on the site. It just looks, it just looks really slick. Then we're saying, and on hover, the transition is the same. So it's the same in and out. The margin top minus 10 pixels. If we had margin top of 10 pixels, it would go down and that just looks crap. So minus 10 pixels when we hover, the image goes up and falls back down. It just looks, looks great. And this works really well when there's a strong CTA on the image. So like view artist or view property or, you know, whatever you want it to be. I wouldn't recommend putting it on like every image on the site. So to do, to make sure it stays confined within that section, we use Squarespace block identifier, click the section ID, we paste that in and then it sticks within that section. You can see when we hover over any other image, it doesn't do anything. But in here, it stays on. And it's as simple as that. So if this has been helpful, please make sure to leave a like, hit subscribe and check out all of the Squarespace resources in the description below.